invite individuals and corporates for a special dinner that will take place on Friday, 9th September 2022 at St. Benedict Parish Grounds from 5 p.m. Proceeds go towards construction of a new church at St. Maura's Mathare North Area 3. I wish to welcome all of you to come and partner with us to do this fundraising dinner towards construction of a modern church in St. Maura's place. This is in Madare Area 3. Welcome and be a part of us. We will be glad to have you to do the house of God. Thank you so much and God bless you as you plan to come. Thank you. Welcome brothers and sisters to this Eucharistic celebration. We also welcome all those joining us during this Ori Mass Live on Caption TV from around the country. Intentions requested by viewers through Caption TV are as follows. Happy birthday with health and blessings upon Cynthia Immaculate Wajiro at Bernard Wahome Gashaga. Special intentions for Lucy Kamau, Amos Andrael, Josephat and David, Nancy Utawara, Jen Rose Moura, Caroline and Immaculate, Diana and Lillian. We pray for healing and recovery of Basil Onkomba and Jane Wairimo. Eternal reports the following faithful departed, Father George Macau and Father Francis Dungo. May they Rest in peace. we have the following intentions 
Thanksgiving by Jeremiah Karemi, Thanksgiving by Stephen Nyangono, A Special Intention by Benedict Motheni, Special Intention by Frank Amukasa, The Healing for Joseph Ocheng Omolo, and we remember the soul of Father Francis Edongo Budia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us all call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessing Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Uh, let us pray. Uh, grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, when one of you has a grievance against a brother, does he dare go to law before the unlicious instead of the saints? Do you not know? that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels? How much more matters pertaining to this life. If then you have such cases, why do you lay them before those who are least esteemed by the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no man among you wise enough to decide between members of the brotherhood? But brother goes to law against brother, and that before unbelievers? To have lawsuits at all with one another is defeat for you. Why not rather suffer wrong? Why not? rather be defrauded. But you yourself wrong and defraud, and that even your own brethren. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the immoral, nor idolaters, 
nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor these, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. To God. Our responsorial psalm, our response is, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord, the Lord takes delight, delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Sion children exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Praise allies and acclaim the gospel. Alleluia. Alleluia. I chose you from the world that you should go and bear fruit. Alleluia, and that your fruit should abide, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. It happened in these days that Jesus went out into the hills to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. And when it was day, he called his disciples and chose from them twelve whom he named Apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, and James and John, and Philip and Bartholomew, and Matthew and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who was called the Zerot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor, and he came down with them, and he stood at a level place, 
with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd shout, sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed them all. At the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to listen to the word of God from the book, from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, the first letter. And today, St. Paul speaks to these people of Corinthians in a context. And this context is that the Christian community is growing, but the larger communities that is there, or the ordinary citizens in the Roman Empire, were not Christians. So they were referred as pagans. And for that reason, the holders of the offices in the judiciary, in the government, most of them were citizens of the Roman Empire who were not Christians. St. Paul speaking within this, this context gave a directive to the Christians who were growing. That because Christian community was small, and their disputes were also small disputes, why would they take their disputes to these normal courts that were run by the pagans? Yet the disputes that they have, they can sort them out. This is a question that St. Paul is raising. However, that is not our context today. Because like Kenya, majority of the members of the bench or our judges, most of them are either Christians or Muslims, so they are not pagans. They are our brothers and sisters. We see them uh, wherever we go in church, we are here with them. In social events, we are there with them. So they are our brothers and sisters. This is therefore not the context that St. Paul is speaking. But the main message is that uh, there are disputes that can be sorted out within the Christian community, whether it's a small Christian community, whether it is within a parish community. There are disputes that are within the context of a home that you should not take to your neighbor. You need to sort them out. There are disputes between a husband and wife that you should not take to your children. So all these categories of disputes that we have, then we must know uh, within what uh, area that we operate. But there are some other disputes that we must take to court. So let nobody uh, start misguided that it is wrong to go to court as a Christian. You can still go to court as a Christian. Even me, one day I went to court. I went to court, and this judge who is my friend, coming for morning mass every day at St. Paul, he was a presiding judge. So he thought I have gone to judge the judge. So he called me, Father, what are you doing here? There are matters of succession, so they were not under any dispute. But it is okay to go to court, uh, especially if the issues that um, have taken you to court are probably issues against the law of the state. Some people harm others. The church does not have uh, probably uh, the how to correct when you have killed somebody, when you have some harmed somebody physically. How do the priest come and uh, tell you now, how do we handle that? It is good for you to go to court then you go there, you are caned, then you come back to the society. You pay for your mistakes. So it is okay, but not everything that has to go to court. Some disputes. When you come to church here, if a, a priest denies you to receive communion because of the state that you are sacramentary, can you take that dispute to court? No, you cannot take it to court. It has to be sorted within the church context because it is a sacramental matter within the church. And several other things that has to be sorted within our context. So this is the wisdom that St. Paul is calling us to pick. Just as he was calling them 
to have that wise way of doing and dealing with disputes. It is true at the end of the day, we have to forgive each other. At the end of the day, we have to reconcile. And that is the greatest mission that the church has. But we have to learn how to sort out that, those disputes, whether they are family, they are church, they are state. We have to categorize all those disputes and settle them well and reconcile at the end of the day. The gospel today is a theme about prayer. Uh, Jesus talks about, or Luke reports about Jesus praying. Uh, because prayer is one of the pillars of any religion, including our church, then we see that Jesus who prayed all night because he had a mission for choosing his apostles, those who will be at the center of witness, both in suffering, in death, and in message. So then he prays the whole night for them. The following day we see that he calls from all the disciples, then he calls them Simon Peter, whom he named, Simon whom he named Peter. This change of name is very, very important because Peter had a special mission among the apostles. It is him whose name is changed or he is rebaptized with another name. All the other apostles, they remain with their names. So it's a very special mission to Peter. Then, even with the prayer, not everything goes right, 100%. Jesus, who prayed the whole night, he also came up with Judas Iscariot, who became a member of this group, and who became a traitor, yet he prayed the whole night. Sometimes you may pray, and pray for your children, but not all of them probably will be very good, very successful, well behaved. So some of them will not. So don't give up. Even Jesus prayed and Iscariot came up. You will pray and a thief will come. You will pray and somebody else that you don't like will come up. Accept them and walk with them to the end. As Jesus walked with this Judas to the end. We pray that God may inspire us to follow him. <coughs> As the apostles followed him, witness that we too will follow and witness all the time. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take my hands and make them as your own, and use them for your kingdom, your own. to be sworn take my heart they speak now for my heart and by their action they should love guide them on their daily course be their strength and guiding force to ever serve the trinity above take my heart my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, I graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may 
faithfully and united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are present up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the ages praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, a blessed seraphim, Worship together in exhortation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is you, comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Uh, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Bishop, David, Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Father Francis Dongobuthia, whom you called from this world to yourself, I grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with the Saint Anne and Joachim, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
that will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and, the and the glory of yours, yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. I graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live a reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not, not worthy that you should enter the mind. But, but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life eternal. Amen. Chakura chab chenye 
say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring you, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good afternoon. Same to you, Father. Oh, to friend me, Mommy. Jesus, oh, our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to call him, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we offer for faith. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, because we do not call. Everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. To the Lord in prayer. Can we find our friends so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Come and with the Lord of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise for sake Take it to the Lord in prayer In his arms you take and shoot thee Thou will find a solace there Capuchin TV, your Catholic broadcasting ministry. Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi baby number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity the catholic university of eastern africa kwea is a leading chartered private international university located in kenya we enjoy a heritage of over 35 solid years of offering quality education grounded on values the university has six faculties, two institutes and one center, namely Faculty of Theology, 
Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, School of Business, Faculty of Education, Faculty of Science, Faculty of Law, Center for Social Justice and Ethics, Institute of Canon Law, Institute for Regional Integration and Development. Enroll today for September intake. Visit our website, www.cuea.edu, or email us on admissions at cuea.edu, or call us on 254-709-691-111. Quaya, for innovative and marketable graduates. Turn up the heat with Europe's most exciting league, the Bundesliga. This season, enjoy football as it's meant to be. Full crowds, seven new coaches, top signings Matisse Bevicht and Sadio Mane. Can Dortmund chase down the record masters by a minute? Magnificent football, week after week, game after game. Live and exclusive two star times. Subscribe now to the Aerial Classic Bouquet at only 899 shillings or Dish Mart Bouquet at only 999 shillings per month. Unbeatable prices for incredible Bundesliga action. Star times. Enjoy digital life. St. Therese Vocational Training College in Karen is an educational institution accredited to empower young people to be self-reliant by equipping them with knowledge in hospitality industry, life skills and computer literacy. We seek to transform the hospitality industry under the supervision of the Donum Day Missionary Sisters by molding competent individuals who are at the center of developmental activities. Join us today and rediscover your God-given talent and dignity through positive social interactions, dignified holistic training, and acquisition of hands-on experience in a serene environment. We are easily accessible by both private and public means of transport. Visit us at Donum Day Rousel House in Karen or contact us on 0722-306-030 or 0739-309-593 or send an email to info at rouselhouse.com. We also hire professional cooks, housekeepers, waiters and waitresses. Visit our website at www.sentthereze.ac.ke for more details. St. Therese Vocational Training College. Actualize your full potential in life.